Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another luxury haul. It's been a few weeks, maybe nearly a month since I last posted. I honestly just have so many things to haul that I was avoiding doing a haul because there's just so much. I honestly think I need to split it up into multiple hauls because it's not going to fit into one, that is for sure. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed with how many things I have to haul and film, but we are back with another video. So today I'm going to be hauling things from Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, and then some beauty products from Chanel, Givenchy Beauty, Dior, and Laura Mercier. I'm going to start with Louis Vuitton because I only have two things from there. So they're both wallets. So this is the first one, it's a large wallet. I don't typically tend to opt for larger wallets for every day, but I do like them for travel. So for traveling, you always have additional documents and things that you're carrying around, um, excess cash and stuff for emergencies and stuff while traveling, at least I do. So I do prefer large wallets for travel, not so much for every day. I liked how this had a little back um, pouch thing so you could insert i'm always just lazy when i'm out and about so i do like how it has that, that pouch so if you're quickly grabbing your boarding pass you can just stick it here as opposed to having to open the wallet and then your more secure things like your license credit cards and stuff like that could go in here so i do really like when bags or wallets have back little pouches like that little slots and then it has um, credit card slots on each side so you could fit let's say 12 cards total you could also put your coins in here. It has this little zipper that opens, so if you wanted to put coins in there, I'm not a coin person. I will just tell someone to keep the change. I don't want to touch dirty coins. And I also don't ever see a need to use coins, so I would probably just put something that's maybe more secure, like excess cash or something in here. Say you like to have extra cash when I travel. It also has a pouch on this side as well, and these two pouches here in the middle, which I guess could be for documents or cash again. It also has these slots on this side. So in total, it actually has 16 card slots. I don't have 16 credit cards or a need for 16 slots, but it does have that option if you're someone that has a lot of cards. So if you're someone that has a need for a large wallet, this is definitely a nice one to opt for. Next is this key pouch sort of wallet thing. Here is the little pouch. I also like this aspect. I think all the key pouches have this. I typically do not like monogram, but I actually liked this kind of coloring, it's a neutral beigey shade, so it's not entirely white, nor is it cream. So I kind of like how it's neutral colors, and I would probably use this for cards for every day. This is typically the size I would opt for as an everyday wallet. Very sick addiction to specifically pink lemonade. I get these things by the brand Minute Maid, the zero calories. That one particularly is five calories per serving, basically zero. And then they have the regular lemonade one, that one's zero calories, I just like the pink one a little bit better, it's worth the five calories. And I will drink like five glasses of those a day, I'm sorry my cat's meowing. Anyways, Chanel is next. First are two bags, I believe they're both considered mini flaps in terms of the sizes, I know the gold one is. If you already watched on TikTok, you already know the two bags. And there's the red Pearl Crush one, which is what I'm going to show first, and then there's the gold mini. The Pearl Crush, I think it's just considered a mini, but it's the Pearl Crush edition or something. This is part of their new season, so they had just received it, and I really liked how it still had the felt and everything on it. It wasn't a display bag. I will return it if it is a display bag. And also, um, in the one haul that I shared where I had the tote bag that had the little dent in it, and I was thinking it already in my mind that this is looking questionable, the little dent. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just ignore this part. There was like a little dent in this tote bag. If you go to my YouTube channel, if you haven't seen that video, it's the one where I'm wearing like the leopard-ish print green uh, fringes jacket. And I have like a black choker on in the thumbnail and I'm holding Chanel boots and a black tote bag. I returned that because there was a little fold in it. I didn't like it, but I just told myself I was just being exaggerating. It'll come out, yada yada. And then someone had commented about it and I was like, okay, this is not in my head. I'm returning this. So I returned it and I got these two bags instead. If you want a true unboxing, I'll have my TikTok video linked down below. I did a true unboxing of this of when I first received it. I also really liked how they packaged it. Typically, the packaging is always fine, you know, whenever I've ordered from any essay. But this time they had it in uh, the whole entire Chanel box was inside of a like sealed bag. And I really liked that because sometimes the box can arrive a tad dusty, so I really liked that she included that little bag over it. I didn't film that in the TikTok unboxing, but I filmed the unboxing of the actual box. Anyways, this is the bag. So I've already opened it. The genuine unboxing again is on my TikTok. I really liked the felt. I liked how it was completely pristine. No one's dirty little mitts were on it yet. So the Pearl Crush bag. It's the size of basically a square mini flap, I'm pretty sure. Except the Pearl Crush ones have this adjustable thing here 
where I'm still <laughs> playing with it. I'm still learning how to use it, but they have this thing where you can hold the CC in. So you can adjust it and make the strap shorter or longer and then wear it as either a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. I just really like this little intricate detailing of the ball as well. I really like how it has a back pouch here. I just love having back, I need back pouches because when I'm in a store after I pay, especially with COVID, but I've always been a germaphobe. Even prior to COVID, I was that crazy person that carried hand sanitizer and wipes around. I was the crazy person that before I even sit on my seat on an airplane, I will wipe the entire thing down, head to toe, everything, before I will even sit in it. And if I don't have time to, someone's like behind me or something waiting, I'll take the blanket that they give you and I'll put it all over the seat so that way I sit on the blanket and then I'll just ask for an additional blanket to cover up with. But everything's wiped down, so if I'm in a store and there's people behind me, I don't really have time to like pull over. That's what I like to refer to it as, pulling over, to sanitize and put things away. I'll just quickly have my card out already, that way I don't have to even get into my bag after touching things. And then I'll have it ready here, pay, and then I put it back in the slot, get in my car wherever I'm going, and then I'll sanitize and everything before I put the card back. So that's my reason for why I always have to have a back um, little pouch or slot. I also really like, I didn't realize this, the interior of the bag is this really gorgeous gold color. So pretty. So it says made in Italy and then over here it just has the CC and then I think like the serial number or something. There's also a little pouch here as well as a zipper. So a little like mini slot and then there's a zipper and I'm gonna like tug on the, the I think this one is soft caviar leather I believe. But yeah, so I really like this. I'll show you how I'd wear it on. Do not mind my pajama pants if they show in this because I'm not going anywhere today, I'm just filming so. I thought of changing pants, but then I was like, no, we'll just keep it authentic. So I'm wearing my pajama pants at the moment. So. Okay, so I would probably uh, make it a little bit a tad shorter for over the shoulder. And then what I saw some people do is they will basically take this little thing here and they'll put it inside of the bag. So let me just do that while we're here. So they'll take that, put it in the bag. That way it's not dangling around. And then you can carry it like this. You could make it tighter if you wanted. I just like this length personally. So yeah, there's like that. And then for crossbody, it's like this. Um, it, actually, it kind of does go well, I was going to say I wouldn't wear it with this outfit. Well, I'm not really wearing an outfit. Well, excuse the pajama pants, but if I had normal pants on, this top and this actually kind of go together. Um, like they don't match, obviously, but I kind of like the contrast of the colors. So I actually probably would wear it with this. Next is the gold mini flat bag. This one is the rectangular shaped one. Apparently this bag in this specific color is difficult to get a hold of. I am obsessed with it. I think it is my current favorite bag ever. I'm just really into gold and silver right now. I also ordered the um, Hermes Oran sandals in gold and silver, so I'll have those in an upcoming haul to share with you guys as well. So this is the bag. I'm obsessed with it. It is so pretty. It has the back pouch I always need. So inside, it's all the same sort of champagne gold color. It does have like a hint of like a sheen to it as well, which I really like. So here's crossbody. Next is this lovely little bucket hat. I'm obsessed with bucket hats. I really like how this one came in this dust bag. So this is a medium. The interior is black on the inside. And then the exterior, I believe it's cotton as well as the material. It's kind of like this little funky, almost denim appearing uh, material. I'm just obsessed with purples, pinks, magentas specifically. Um, in regards to pink shades at the moment, hence the shirt. This is the hat. I don't like my hair when it's just straight down. It just makes me like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Um, anyways, like my hair always has to be like this. So it needs to be like doing something. I don't like when it's just like, I don't know, no, it's not working for me. What is going on? Do you see what I'm talking about like this? No. This is why like, I never know how to style my hair correctly myself. So whenever you see me having a good hair day, it's because someone else did it. My hair's throwing me off, but this is the hat. I would probably wear this with maybe like white linen pants and then maybe like a little 
magenta, I like this color. Colors that kind of are in the hat, sort of little tank top moment, gold jewelry, bikini underneath, and then this hat. And then maybe the gold Oran sandals um, is kind of the vibe. And then the gold mini flat. That's kind of like how I envision this as an outfit. Oh, and I really like the dust bag it came in also. So, I love this, it's so cute. Very convenient for traveling with the hat as well to protect it. Next is Hermes. So the first thing, my mom actually ordered this. I'm obsessed with it. So I wanted a scarf ring. I saw on Hermes they released these. I don't remember exactly what they were called, but it wasn't the Nano Twilly. They had a different name for it. It's basically like a little mini Twilly that you wear as a choker. And I was like, this is genius. And then they had the little charm with it. I'll insert a photo on the screen. That is so, I'm obsessed with it. But then the charm was a little basic for me, the charm that they had on there. So I ended up not ordering it. And then I was like, oh, like I'll just test how I like the vibe first with the twilly I already have, which I wore in a TikTok. It's the one where I'm wearing the, just the normal twilly. So I really like the little tiny ones they have. And then I was like, I don't have a charm and they don't have any that I like. And my mom found this adorable little red one. This is so cute, I'm obsessed with it. Let me show it closer. So pretty. So you slip the little scarf through that slot on the side or that slot and then it comes out the other end. I haven't worn it yet. I wanted to haul it first, but you would insert the scarf through on each side and then you'd wear it like this in the middle of the choker with the little scarf. I need to order the little red one so I can wear this, but then maybe the black one I think would go better with this. I need to order it. That is so cute. I cannot wait to implement this into an outfit. So yeah, I'm obsessed with that and then the little heart box it comes in as well. Literally this, can this get any cuter? It's so adorable. I have two pairs of, I have no idea how to pronounce it, the Agiri sandals. So they're in black and then this like light little aqua teal moment. And these are actually really inexpensive. I mean, for Hermes, they're inexpensive. They're $2.95 each. You can also order them online. I think they are sold out of most sizes now, but I thought these would be like perfect for, you know, if you're going to the beach and you don't want to wear like your nicer Iran ones or something. I, I do wear my own ones to the beat. I'm just like kind of rough on things, but I think these would be a way better. Like I'm gonna feel way less guilty if these get dirty than my Iran ones or something, even though I dirty those up as well. And these are both in a 39, so these are the black ones. I'm gonna move the other one too. So cute, and they're the same material as the Aloha sandals if you guys have those. They have other colors as well, but they were, they're were they sold out at the moment, so I only purchased these two. Hopefully they're comfortable, and this isn't a situation um, like those Givenchy boots, the black ones I showed, I think in my last haul. I ended up returning those. I can't break shoes in, I can't do it. Um, I, don't, I don't have the patience for the time to break a shoe in, and I don't want to have to deal with the temporary blisters in the process. So those were returned, no thank you. So with those, the reason why I thought those would be comfortable is because I saw so many people wearing them all over town reason why I think these will be comfortable because I don't particularly like the comfort aspect of the Aloha sandals from Hermes. Not comfortable. I literally had blisters all over the place just from walking from my hotel to go shopping and the shopping was in the hotel so not very much walking. I was on a trip I went on a year or two ago so um, hopefully these aren't like that because I saw people wearing these all over town on vacation. That's why I thought they would be comfortable. Um, I only removed both of them actually. Was well, because of that, but I also thought that with the Givenchy boots, and those were not comfortable. So hopefully these are actually just comfortable, because I wanted kind of comfortable, kind of more elegant-ish beach shoes. So, so these are only two ninety-five. So I'm not going to feel guilty if these are, you know, getting scuffed up or sand and stuff on them at the beach. Because right now my white Oran is are the pair that I tend to wear to the beach, just because the white color goes with everything. And they're all dirty because I wear them to the beach, so I thought these would be better. And it's also since it's like this rubber material, I feel like it would be easy to just wipe, you know, if you had something good on it. Which is why I liked the Aloha sandals, but those are not comfortable at all. So they're comfortable if you are literally getting out of an Uber and walking directly into um, a restaurant or to the beach, it's right there. If you have any walking to do, no, no. I don't know if they need to be broken into or what the deal is. I don't know where this came from. But not for me. So hopefully these are more comfortable. They're the same material as the Aloha, but I feel like because it's like a thong type of sandal, maybe it'll be different. Because with the Aloha, the blisters that I get, if this were my foot, are on the side. So it's on like my pinky toe over here, and then it's a little bit 
on the, not the thumb, the toe, the main toe, I don't know, the big toe, but it's mostly on the pinky from like rubbing. So I'm thinking since this is a thong styled sandal, it'll be different, even though it is the same material. Okay, next are, these are in the like, it's called like a rose, a Bruin or something shade. So these are these in a size 39 as well. I'm actually typically a size 9.5 to 10 in women's. But for some reason in Hermes, I don't know if they run big or if other brands are just running small, um, I'm a 39, which I learned the hard way because I had a pair of Oran that are 9.5 and, and they're a little too big. So here's this shade, it's really pretty also against the skin. And the Oran sandals are very comfortable, so if you were thinking of purchasing these and you don't own a pair yet, these ones are comfortable for sure. So I've worn these with a lot of walking and stuff. These ones I have no problems, there was no need to break into them. I just, I won't wear something if I have to break into it. I just, I don't want the discomfort aspect. So if you were thinking of purchasing a wrong sandal, they're definitely comfortable. So I definitely highly recommend. I have like seven pairs. So I really recommend these um, sandals. I love these. Next are these two little pouches. I'm not really sure what else to call them, but they, I feel, I view these as little beach pouches. They might be considered toiletry bags. I'm not sure what Hermes would consider them. I didn't see them on the website, so um, if I can find them, I'll link them. I just think this is so cute. I like how it's discreet. It's not like some brand in your face with the logos and stuff. Um, warranted I showed logos earlier. I'm just picky on what kind of logos I like. So I liked how this is discreet. You can go to the beach. She could be like a little clutch bag held like that, or you can just hold her like this. Or she could be like a little travel toiletry bag. I wouldn't personally use this for makeup or anything just because I don't like to use kind of like nicer things to carry around makeup that could spill and get messy. But if you had like sunscreen and stuff, I'd probably have put that in a ziplock prior to putting it in here. However, the material, um, can I talk? What was that? The material on the interior is one that you could definitely wipe off if something did spill, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not if a liquid spilled, but if like a powder spilled, you could definitely wipe it off. And I like how it has these little pouches here. It's like two on that side. And then there's one larger one on this side. So I thought these were so cute. And then here's the mini. Or I don't know if they're considered mini. Just here's the smaller one. And it's the same thing. Two little pouches here and then a larger one on this side. It's just a smaller version. So yeah. I thought these were so cute. I think this is so adorable. I feel like if you were at the beach, if you wanted my pajama pants again. You know, imagine it's full. I put the tissue paper in it so we can get like the full vibe. Okay, so let's get the full vibe of this little puppy in action. Okay, so put the tissue paper in. Like you're at the beach. I don't know, I just think it's cute, it's discreet. I love this little pattern here. Um, so you can carry it like that, or you can carry it like this, and then like hold like that. I don't know, I think it's cute. And then the little one. I'd probably just carry the little one like this. Like if I'm waiting in line, okay, here I am. <laughs> I don't have tissue paper in this one right now, but I probably wouldn't carry this one like this. I think that's more for the large one. This one could be like this, that, this. I don't know, I think it's cute. Like with, you're at the beach, you know, a little, maybe like the white or on, and then you have little white linen pants on, and like your little bikini on, and then you have this on. I don't know, I think this is really cute. So yeah, there's those two pouches. Next are beauty products. So first I'm going to share some of the things that I've already tried. This is basically a liquid, what's this called? Um, it's like a fluid illuminator, sheer, healthy glow highlighting fluid. And I think this is limited edition in the shade Sunkiss. I like how it has a little pump because I have some liquid highlighters. So I always just thought I didn't need them. And then I went to use one and I realized all of the ones that I have are years old and they needed to be thrown away. I did an entire mass beauty um, makeup cosmetics cleaning. So I got rid of a lot of stuff. So I needed a new one. I saw this and thought this was really cute. I really like the, not cute, I figured this would be suitable. And so I liked the little pump aspect as well. So what I've been doing with this is I've been wearing just like tinted sunscreen lately. So I will mix one pump of this with the tinted sunscreen. The one I'm using at the moment is from Laura Mercier or I'll use the LTMD one. I'm not going to really be in the sun like that much. I'll use the Laura Mercier one. If I'm actually going to be in the sun, then I'll use the LTMD one. So I really like this for mixing with that. 
Next are a few things from Laura Mercier. So the first thing that's just coming out today is their Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer Natural Skin Illuminator with SPF 25 in it. So I use the regular tinted sunscreen of this every day. And so now they have a light revealer one that also has like an illuminating aspect to it. So then I wouldn't have to mix the Chanel with it. So I think for travel, I'll use this. That way it kind of puts two products in one, if that makes sense. So I think this will be good for travel. I'm in the shade 2W1 Natural. So yeah, I like this. I'm excited to try this. And then the, I think this is new. It came in PR recently, so I'm assuming it's new. It is their, I think it's called Lip Glossé. So there's, I think they have more shades than this, but they sent me five shades. I think these are so pretty. It's basically supposed to kind of be like a moisturizing lip gloss. that's almost like a balm. I'll keep you guys updated on how I like these. Next are some things from Chanel, which I, I was already kind of showing things from Chanel, but this one's like actually still boxed because I haven't used it yet. But this is their eye patches. I am so excited to try these. The Lift uh, Flash Eye Revitalizer patches, and then also comes with this little thing. I think that you use this to, it's like a, I think it's like a little fluid that you use to apply prior to putting the patches on. So I'm excited to try these. These are just like more of a vibe moment. I mean, I'm sure they actually do something as well, but I'm more so interested in the vibe aspect of those. This is just like a refill of something I already had I lost. I have no idea what happened to it. It's just the Chanel mirror. So like for travel, it's just like their little mirror. It's a double-sided mirror. And then samples. Okay, so I ordered. Okay, hang on. I think they're the same thing. Yeah, it's the Lil Lift and then the number one cream or something. So I think it's the same thing in each little baggie. Uh, so there's two little baggies. Yeah, it's the same thing in each one. So one of them came with the eye patches, um, the samples. And then this is just like, Chanel's so funny. Okay, so I ordered, uh, I think it's just their Rouge lipstick, but I ordered it in the shade Halo. I'll put a photo on the screen. It's in this really pretty, like shimmery, almost like lavender shade. I thought, oh, that's so pretty. I need that. So I add to my bag. I select the two samples. I check out. And then, then like, maybe a few hours later, I get an, an email saying that my order was canceled. And I was like, what? I look, and it basically just said that it canceled it. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Maybe it sold out. So I go to the website. It did sell out. Then another few hours later, I receive an email saying that my order shipped. And I was like, what? How, how did it ship if it was sold out? I was like, okay, maybe they, like, ended up finding stock somewhere. Then I receive the package. And it's just this little bag in um, the little Chanel box with these two samples. So they ship the samples, I guess, for my troubles. I don't know. I thought that was kind of silly. Like, I fully, like, got my hopes up with that one that I had the lipstick and then they only ship the samples. I just thought that was amusing. Okay, next, uh, Jalanchi Beauty. It's spinning around. This is, like, a little refill of my Volet Rosé. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the pink color. I wear this every day. So these are two of my everyday powders. I just took them from my little beauty makeup counter area. Um, so I use the pastel one and I also use this pink one. The pink one's a lot more used than the pastel one because I use this one a lot more, but I love both. So it's definitely my favorite. So now I have a refill of that one. So I use this every day. It's the best powder for under your eyes. And, um, I guess they have a new foundation. So I've tried this one. I really like this one. It's like a glow foundation. And then I guess now they have a matte one. So um, this came in PR, that's why I'm saying I guess. Lastly, we have some things from Dior. Um, this was from Lauren for my birthday. So I thought it was so cute. She had this, we were supposed to go to France and Italy. We were supposed to be there right now, actually. <laughs> um, and then she wasn't able to go. So then I just wasn't feeling it anymore. She wasn't going, so then I didn't go either. Um, I ended up having a little work to do anyway, so I, it was better that I ended up not going. But she had this adorable little card, Happy 25th Birthday Mo, I hope you have an amazing day. This gift will bring the Dior Spa in Paris to you, love Lore. Because we had planned, her birthday is also in March, to go to the Dior Spa together, like for our birthday in Paris. And so I thought this was so cute, because we ended up not going. But we'll be going. <laughs> We're going to reschedule the trip and stuff. She's just moving and whatnot, so she has to get settled in and all that. She's actually moving closer to me. And then in a few months, then I'm moving further away. So, um, of course, that's just how it works. And she also got me this Dream Skin One Minute Mask, um, Youth Perfecting Mask, New Skin Effect. So, I did try this. I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to wait to unbox it. And I got this One Minute Mask though because I get so impatient. Apply thin layer and leave on for 60 seconds, then, then rinse off the water. I absolutely love it already. Um, so, this is for all skin types made in France. It was adorable. 
Okay, I cannot wait to try this. I just recently started um, retinol. It's like that tretinin thing um, that you get like prescribed. So my skin is in the process of like shedding at the moment, but it's looking a lot better already. So I can't wait to try this. Probably when I'll try it once my skin gets a little more acclimated to the tretinin. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she also got me the Dior eye patches. So I think this comes with two of them. So the Chanel one comes with two, this one, or the Chanel one comes with 10. This one, I believe, comes with two. Yeah, this comes with two pairs. And then, how cute, Dior samples are always top notch. She also got me the Nail Glow. I love this for summertime. It's um, Nail Glow, it's really pretty. I've gone through a few bottles of this. And then, the samples are this little mini Dior moisturizer. So cute and miniature. And this is like a sample, so a complimentary sample um, that came with the order. And then there was this little glow booster serum. I love this serum, so the sample would be good for travel. And then a little mini of the Mist Dior. I love this little bag. I have this in black, but not the velvet one. And I like how like this little glitter here as well. So such a cute little travel bag. That's all I have today for this haul. I just put my hair back. I could not handle it anymore. So we have this little pineapple thing going on. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and or weekend, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.